Hey guys, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top six best robot vacuums for cat hair. In order to come up with these top six recommendations, I spent quite a bit of time researching vacuums as well as robot vacuums specifically to identify which qualities are essential in a good vacuum for pet hair. And what I found is that there are kind of three main things that you want to look for. The first that you want to look for is a rubber roller brush. And this is particularly important if you have a cat with really long hair, or honestly, if you have long hair yourself. So when you have the traditional bristle brush roller, you're going to get a lot more tangling. There's going to be more of a chance that the hair is going to wrap around the roller brush, and it's going to require a lot more maintenance. The second thing that you're going to want to think about is just good suction. Really, the best vacuums for pet hair are the best vacuums on the market. You want a robot vacuum that is capable of getting deep down into the carpet and pulling up that pet hair. So cat hair tends to get embedded in the carpet, and so you're going to need something with a lot of suction to be able to pull it up out of the carpet and remove it from your floors. The third thing that I would look for when shopping for a robot vacuum for pet hair is a large capacity. So you're going to want to look for a vacuum that has a pretty generous capacity that allows you to spend less time emptying and reinserting that dustbin. So while not all of the vacuums on this list do have really large capacities, this is something that I was looking for when making the selections. So having established those qualities that I was looking for, I selected these top six vacuums as the best on the market, and then I tried them out in my home with my two cats, Wessie and Forrest. So over the last month, I've had all six of these vacuums running around the house, having little interactions with one another, and of course, sucking up cat hair. And as these vacuums have been going around doing their jobs, I've been taking notes. So I've been looking at things like the ease of controlling these vacuums, how well their navigation systems work, how well they're able to pick up cat hair from various floor types, and how easy it is to empty the dust bins. If you're interested in learning more about one specific vacuum, feel free to use the video navigation. There will be timestamps allowing you to jump to each of these six vacuums. So our very first recommendation is from the name in the robot vacuum industry. It is the iRobot Roomba i7 Plus. So this is a top of the line robot vacuum that does pretty much everything well. So the first thing that I noticed about this vacuum is that it's different from all of the others on this list in that it is self-emptying. This means that you will never have to deal with emptying a full dust bin. Instead, it will automatically return to its base and then empty itself. <laughs> So the bag into which the Roomba empties will last for about 60 days. So you're only going to have to empty it every 60 days as opposed to maybe once every few days um, for a traditional robot vacuum. That self-emptying feature alone really puts the Roomba at an advantage over the vast majority of robot vacuums on the market. Another thing that I really liked about the iRobot Roomba i7 is the fact that this robot vacuum has a really useful app. Of the robots I tested, this app was the most intuitive and the most useful. So you can set up different rooms easily on the Roomba map. You can block off certain areas where you don't want the Roomba to go. It's very easy to make adjustments within the app. I found all of these features really helpful. But what about how well the iRobot Roomba i7 Plus cleaned up cat hair specifically? So clearly I have cats, and as I was using the Roomba, I watched how well it removed cat hair from the floors. It seemed to do a pretty good job. I noticed that the floors were consistently cleaner after the robot had had a go around the house. I also did a test where I brushed my cat, Wessie, and then put some fur onto the floor um, so that the Roomba could go around and clean it up. And what I found was that the Roomba did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. I used the spot clean um, function rather than having it do an automatic clean, so it went in little spirals around the area that was dirty. 
and it picked up all of the hair. It did quite a good job. There might have been a few little pieces of hair left after that single cleaning, a few minutes long, um, but overall it did quite a good job. I also did a test with something else that we might have to deal with when we have cats in the home, which is cat litter. Like the other robot vacuums I tested, the Roomba didn't pick up all of the litter, but it did a fairly good job of removing it. So there was some litter still kind of embedded in my low pile carpet, um, but overall it did a pretty good job of picking up that litter. After using the robot for about a month, I found that there was very little accumulation on those rubber roller brushes. They did a really good job of resisting any hair accumulation, so that hair wasn't wrapping and it wasn't really sticking to the bottom of the Roomba. So overall, I really like this robot vacuum. I think that it could be a great choice if you're looking for a robot vacuum that is extremely low maintenance, does its job well, does pretty much everything that it needs to do at a really high level. Uh, the app is great, and its performance is just exactly what it needs to be. The biggest drawback of the iRobot Roomba is probably its price. At $799, it's the most expensive robot vacuum on this list, and it might not be a good option if you're looking for something a little more budget-friendly. Our next recommendation is the Samsung R7070. Now this is a robot vacuum specifically marketed for pet hair. It claims to have 40 times more powerful suction than other circular uh, robot vacuums on the market. And it's supposed to just overall do an excellent job of capturing dirt in your floors. I found that this robot vacuum did a great job as it moved around the house. After the first use, I noticed that it had picked up a huge amount of dirt. I was really surprised by how much um, it managed to pick up. I also did that fur test and I found that it picked up the hair pretty well. I found that its spot cleaning function was a little bit more chaotic or at least appeared to be a little more chaotic than that of the Roomba mentioned earlier, but it did eventually manage to clean up the hair. Again, I also did a litter test with it, and it did a pretty good job. There was still a little bit of litter remaining after it had gone over it for a few minutes, um, but its performance was on par with all of the top-rated robot vacuums listed here. The brush roller is, again, rubber, and it does a great job of resisting hair accumulation and tangling. So it was very easy to maintain, and I didn't find myself having to clean hair out of that roller brush all the time. All of these positive qualities aside, I had two big gripes with this robot vacuum. The first is the size of the dustbin. So at 300 milliliters, this is the smallest dustbin on this list, and it means that you're not going to be able to run this robot vacuum for quite as long as some others. And in addition to being kind of small, I found that it was a little bit difficult to get the dust out of it without making a mess. So I found that it was a little bit on the messy side. The second issue that I had with this robot vacuum was its app. So the app allows you to do just about everything that you need to do. It allows you to set up schedules, choose which suction level you want to use, and look at your robot's cleaning history. That being said, I found that the map was a little bit less detailed than that of some of the other robots I used, and I would have liked it to allow me to create different rooms and section off areas that I would like to mark off. The robot does come with little barriers that you can put down around your house in order to block off certain areas, so you are able to do that. But I think that for the price, uh, this robot could have a little bit of a more useful app. Overall, this robot vacuum is a good all-around choice that seems to have excellent suction and a good navigational system. I purchased this robot for $699. Now, I labeled our next recommendation as the best robot vacuum for large homes, but really I think of it as more of just another runner-up to our number one recommendation. It's a little bit cheaper than the iRobot Roomba, and it doesn't have quite as many features, but overall I found its performance to be on par with both of our top recommendations, with a few extra qualities that set it apart for certain types of homes and people. The first thing that you'll probably notice about this robot is that it has that D shape which allows it to get into corners, it does a great job of cleaning corners and along baseboards, along walls, it moves around the house with ease, and like all of our top recommendations, I didn't notice this vacuum getting stuck or stranded very often. The Neato vacuum seems to have great suction. In my fur test, it did an outstanding job, and it also seemed to do the best job of any of these vacuums in my cat litter test. So when I used the manual controls on the Neato app, I was able to get 
almost all of the litter out of the carpet. So that was pretty impressive. And after I had taken numerous trips around the house, I found that there was very little accumulation of hair on that brush roller. Another thing that I liked about the Neato robot vacuum was its capacity. So it has a 700 milliliter dustbin, which is pretty generous. So you're able to go for a pretty long time before you have to empty it out. I found that it was pretty easy to empty it out. Um, everything worked pretty well there. So overall, I really enjoyed my experience with the Neato D7 Connected. It was a really effective robot vacuum, and I think of all of the robots I tested, it did the best job of cleaning up both cat hair and cat litter. So again, overall, I was quite happy with it. I think that the biggest concern if you're considering this purchase is the fact that Compared to some of the other robots mentioned here, it seems to have more complaints about connection issues. Um, every robot vacuum on the market has some complaints about this, but it seems that the Neato has potentially slightly more. That's just something to consider. Overall though, it's a really good option and considering that it has a really generous battery life of about 150 minutes and a pretty large dust capacity. I think that it could be a good choice for people with larger homes and who don't want to spend a lot of time emptying out that dustbin. The next robot vacuum that I want to talk about is our top recommendation for people who are on a budget. So if you don't want to spend over $200 on a robot vacuum, there are still a few pretty good options for you. And one of them is the Ecovax DBot 500. So I found that this robot vacuum's performance was overall pretty good. It did pretty much everything that you would want it to. I found that the app was intuitive and easy to use and offered just about all of the features that you would want in a robot vacuum app. You aren't able to specify certain rooms or block off areas. I found that his performance was quite good on a variety of floor types, so it worked pretty well on a higher pile rug as well as on low pile carpet. It did a pretty thorough job of removing cat hair. I didn't notice a lot lingering behind after the robot had taken a few passes. The biggest downside of this vacuum is that, like most other more budget-friendly vacuums, it does have a traditional brush roller. So that does increase your chances of having some hair wrapping and tangling. And I found that there definitely was more hair kind of wrapping around there than I saw on the other ones that had the rubber rollers. But if you have a cat who has short hair and you aren't having a ton of shedding, it probably should be okay. The second thing that I noticed about this robot vacuum is that it did seem to get stuck a little bit more than some of the more expensive ones. So I would find it stranded around the house. Sometimes it couldn't find its way back to the base. Now, I, this did happen to the more expensive ones as well. It just seemed to happen to the Ecovax DBot 500 a little bit more. Now this robot vacuum has a 500 milliliter or half liter capacity, meaning that you have a pretty generous amount of space to collect some dust and cat hair before you have to empty it out. So overall, I had a pretty good experience with this robot vacuum. It did a good job of collecting cat hair as well as litter, and it overall helped to spruce up the house a little bit and keep the floors clean. There are a few drawbacks, but if you're looking for something on a budget, it's one of the best options out there. So this robot vacuum costs $169.99. So the next robot vacuum that I want to talk about is called the Bob Sweep Pet Hair Plus. Now this robot vacuum has a few different features that set it apart from the competition. The first is that it doubles as a mop. I use it as both a vacuum and a mop, and ultimately I don't think that the mop functionality is all that useful. It just kind of moves around across the floor with a wet rag strapped to the bottom of it, and it really in my opinion, doesn't do that great of a job of cleaning. That being said, it is kind of an interesting feature and it could help you out a little bit. Another way that the Bob Sweep differs from other robot vacuums is in the way that it's operated. So in contrast to all of the other robot vacuums listed here, this one does not work with a smartphone app. Now, this could be an issue for some people, but if you want to be able to get a lot of functionality out of your robot vacuum without dealing with an app, the Bob Sweep could be a good option for you. So you're able to make all of the adjustments that you need using either the display on top of the Bob Sweep or the remote control. And while you're not able to set up no-go lines within an app, you are able to use the Bob Block in order to block off areas of your home. I found that the Bob Sweep did a fairly good job of cleaning, but of the robot vacuums listed here, I think that it had the weakest suction. 
in the cat hair test. It did a relatively good job and picked up the cat hair from the floor, but when I tried it out on some cat litter, it didn't fare so well. Again, of the robot vacuums I've tested here, this is the only one that really left a lot of litter remaining after it had passed over. I think it could clean it up after several passes, but overall, it's not a particularly fast and efficient cleaner. The Bob Sweep has a traditional roller brush with bristles, so it is somewhat more prone to tangling and wrapping, so you're just going to have to commit to regular maintenance of that brush. One really nice feature of the Bob Sweep is that it has a large capacity, so it has a one liter capacity, which is significantly larger than that of the other robot vacuums mentioned here, except for that um, iRobot Roomba i7 Plus. So all things considered, I would say that this is a really nice versatile robot vacuum that can do quite a wide variety of things without the use of a smartphone app. I've also heard that Bob Sweep's customer service is outstanding. A lot of people are really happy with the experience they've had as Bob Sweep customers. But it's not going to be the best option for those of you who want really powerful suction or a particularly advanced navigation system. The Bob Sweep is a moderately priced robot vacuum at about $295.99. Our last recommendation also doubles as a mop. It is called the Kaival Cybovac E31. So this is a robot vacuum that does just about everything that a robot vacuum needs to do, plus it works as a mop. Now I found that the mopping functionality, like the bob sweeps, was not all that impressive. It just fills up with water and then kind of sloshes around on the ground. I didn't notice that it was particularly effective in getting out any grime on the floor. Another area where the Kaival Cybovac E31 is set apart from the competition is in its size. So the robot vacuum has a pretty generous capacity, but it is very slim. So it's able to glide underneath sofas and get in kind of tight places where other robot vacuums would be unable to. So potentially this will allow the robot vacuum to access a larger portion of your house than some other um, thicker, taller robot vacuums. Now as for cleaning ability and navigation, I found that the Kaival Cybovac E31 um, was not the best. Its navigation seemed a little bit more messy than that of some of the other robot vacuums. And I also found that while its suction was pretty good, it wasn't perfect. So in my test, it picked up all of the fur and it did a pretty good job of removing cat litter. But when it was actually running around the house, I definitely saw it pass over some dirt a few times. And even after several passes, it would often leave a rug or an area of the floor um, with a few particles remaining. I also found that like the Ecovax D-Bot mentioned earlier, this robot vacuum tended to get stranded a little bit more often than the rest. Um, I found that it would easily get stuck on things that were sitting around on the floor. So this is one to consider if you keep a pretty clean camp and you don't have a lot of different things lying around on the floor that it could run into and become stuck on. Like the other robot vacuums on this list that have a traditional bristle brush roller, I did notice that there was a fair amount of hair accumulating on the roller brush and that I had to go in with the included cutter and remove it from the roller. And one thing that I really liked about the Kaival Cybovac E31 is that although it's quite slim, it manages to have a pretty large capacity. So this robot vacuum has a 600 milliliter capacity, which puts it among some of the more generously sized robot vacuums on this list. The Kaival Cybovac app is pretty intuitive and easy to use. It gives you all of the features that you need in order to control your robot. One issue that I found was that its maps were a little bit hard to handle, so when you zoom in, you're not really able to navigate to a particular area that you want to look at. So that was one uh, concern that I had with the app. It was one of the quietest of the robot vacuums listed here, so it could be a good option if you're looking for something that won't upset your cats too much. At $299, the Kaival Cybovac E31 is a moderately priced robot vacuum. So that about covers it for our review of the top six best robot vacuums you can buy. Again, it's important to note that a robot vacuum is not going to be a complete solution to your cat hair problem. You're going to want to couple it with a typical manual vacuum in almost every case, but they can really help out and help to keep your home maintained in between cleanings. As I was using these robot vacuums in the home, I found them to be really helpful. They cut down significantly on the amount of hair around the house as well as just general dirt. Um, 
I really enjoyed having them around. So whether you've used robot vacuums in the past and are just looking for something that can handle pet hair a little bit better, or you're interested in trying a robot vacuum for the first time, I hope that you found this video helpful and that it gave you some ideas about which robot vacuums might be the best choice for your home. Again, this was a quick overview of these robot vacuums. If you want more detailed information, you can check out the link in the description uh, to reach our complete written review. And that's going to go into a lot more detail on everything mentioned here. While you're in the description, you'll also see links to all of the products mentioned here so that you can check them out for yourself. So again, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions about the products mentioned here, please feel free to let us know about it in the comments and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful and you're interested in more product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.